Hey, my name is Kenny Ortega. Um, I, uh, I'm a comedian. Uh, I'm a radio personality and uh, a tattoo artist. And uh, pretty much that's that's it. But um, you know, jack of all trades. You know. So. Born and raised here in Spanish Harlem, um, and uh, I was born in Metropolitan Hospital. I, I did that. I, actually, I did that. I, I didn't do that. My mother did that. <laughs> Uh, I was born in Metropolitan Hospital. I was born and raised on 100th Street between 1st and 2nd. Uh, and uh, I, I moved to the Bronx uh, briefly. Uh, and then we came back. And then we've been here ever since. So I, I've been here pretty much uh, a long time. Yeah. My fondest moments, I would tell you, like the block parties. Uh, block parties back then, uh, they used to... Uh, it used to be real block party. You didn't have to worry about no shootouts. You know, you didn't have to worry about uh, anything else. But it, it was like everybody came out. Everybody barbecued. They used to do uh, games where they used to uh, grease the light pole. And they used to put money on the top of it. And it's like three-man teams. And they used to have to get that, that $50 bill from the top. And it was crazy. It was crazy. It was like back then. You know, playing in a fire hydrant. You know, scratching that, that Goya can on the ground. You know, just... That was cool, yeah, yeah. That that's some of my fondest moments right there. Alright, I've been uh I've been drawing since God knows, you know, I can't even remember when I started. But um uh around nineteen I started doing uh I got my first tattoo and then I went right into tattooing and uh at that point I was like, Oh, this is easy, I could do this myself and uh it really wasn't. Um I got my guinea pigs out there, uh, which they call brothers. My my brothers, my brothers were my first clients, and um, they they were they were cool with it. But I was like, nah, I could do better. But now, you know, I've been doing it for twenty some years. So um, yeah, I've been doing that. So that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Good money. And then uh, comedy, comedy actually was a, a a weird thing. I mean, I've always been that. Uh, that uh, sarcastic dude, uh, you know, real pain in the ass, uh, always have something to say, and um, you know that that's how I got into comedy. But comedy, comedy actually, uh, that's actually what helped me into comedy because uh, um, I got into comedy after my brother and my father passed away in '95. Uh, so it was like a year after where I guess I channeled all that pain and put it on stage, and and now I'm, you know, I'm doing I'm doing things. You know, I was on the Chappelle show. Um, that was like my biggest thing because they was filming in the neighborhood at the time, so that was cool. Um, and just to be on on the show while they was filming in your neighborhood, that's like a gift right there. So that was pretty cool for me. And um, and then you know, I, I went I went out to LA. I remember the first time I went out to LA with the comedy. Um, that was that was crazy because um, like everything was paid. Like I stood on Hollywood Boulevard. Like the rooms were like four something a night, and I'm like, I would have never been there, you know, if I would have went to LA. So, you know, pretty much it was, it was it was pretty good. I mean, it was nice. Like it's like the first time somebody paid for you to go somewhere because of something you used to get hit for by your parents. What you see is what you get. Like I just go up there and I like if me and you having a conversation, like you know, just in any conversation, you can have a conversation with somebody else. Uh, for half an hour, and in that half an hour, you're gonna laugh at least, you know, five times. You know, if you're having a cool conversation, and that's what it is. Now you just have to project that to a one-sided conversation and hope they laugh those five times. So, who I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that uh, Eddie Murphy was my inspiration, uh, Chris Rock. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that. Um, my brother actually used to work for Saturday Night Live. Um, I didn't know who these people were. I know I was hanging out with my big brother at his job by the craft table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eating free food. That's what, that's what I saw. Uh, but um, for me, my inspiration, my mother. That woman is hilarious without even knowing it. You know what I mean? Because she has like that broken Spanish-English uh, accent. And some of the things she says is ridiculous. So that's my inspiration right there. It's just, she goes to pretty much all my shows. Like the big shows that I do, she goes to all of them. So it's like, the woman's hilarious. 
You know what I mean? So, but don't tell her. You know, she's going on 15%. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she. Uh, I did a show. I did one one man show called Funny Fat and Fabulous uh, at this club called Comics. And uh, the Daily News covered it. And, and they quoted me as saying, you know, don't tell her because then she's going to want 15%. And forget about it. It's like she saw that. Like she thought they wrote an article about her. You know what I mean? I was like, no, I was me quoting, he was quoting me saying that about you. Like, so it's like she didn't let me let that one down. So, you know, and, and you know, your mom's and them, like they always want you to have that, that corporate job. Um, so for me, it's like she's always like, oh, you should go get a job. And I'm like, this is my job, you know? But then, but then when she runs into her friends and stuff like that, She's like, uh, that's my son. Yeah, he's a comedian. I'm like, oh, now, now I'm your son. I, now I'm like semi-famous, right? But at, you know, but when you need money for something, go get a job. It's like it's just crazy. Just like it's the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's just what this. Like if you if you if you in the store, you you see that uh, there's so many different like designers here you know not only just Goliath but um she, you know she opens the doors to other designers to you know sell her sell products here in the store and for me that's like a melting pot of like the different styles that you have in the neighborhood so like living Goliath to me is just you know it's just again like doing tattoos doing comedy doing radio you know just doing all that that and and and, and just putting it all in one package Hey, I'm Kenny Ortega, and I'm living Goliath. We drive, I spent that bread, she need a daddy. Baby, please, can't let her grow up in that ghetto.